Welcome everybody. This will be my last tutorial on coding algorithm. So in this tutorial, I'll just show you the implementation, how I implemented this on LogiSim. Now what I implemented is this Velo code here. Please go through the code to understand how it works. Most of my codes are from OpenCore. I, I'm sorry for people who might need the code or probably will feel I don't normally give a reference I do give reference at the end of my script I personally don't write most of my codes what I do is to explain and teach them teach them complex code I try to break them into pieces make them in a more understandable way so please go through the code then I already told you this is the circuit we are implementing here this is what you are doing and in Velog code this is what it looks like so but let's go with this now from this is the unit here now this replace represents one shift you know the the code does 16 levels of uh, 16 iterations 16 times of shifting but this represents one level of shifting this is one step for it to shift twice it's going to repeat this two two times so the code actually repeats this for like 12 iterations now let me show you from logism this y of n plus one and x of n plus one you have x of n plus one y of n plus one you have your x of n and your y of n now in logism this is what they look like this is your x of n and your y of n now this is your x of n plus one and your y of n plus one you also have your z of n and your z of n plus one so the n plus one n and n plus it just means the initial x y z and your final L x y z after you've performed this operation now i will explain this operation to you then where is it then again you have your your two is one over one over okay the same thing two is power minus n is the same thing as one over two is power n so two is power minus two over n means one over two is power n one over two is to power n so here it means division now this is where I implemented it so what what it means by for the code here you can see the code what he's trying to tell you here is y divided by 2 is to power minus n and x divided by 2 is to power minus 2 n that is what he's trying to do so for don't be bothered because of the placement is the same thing as x over 2 is to power n so if you look closely you see it now in in Verilog or in digital circuits, division by base 2 means left shift, while multiplication in base 2 means right shift. So, if you want to pre uh, present this x divided, this, this one is for this, now for this one, it is the same thing as this y divided by 2 raised to the power n. So, this is how I implemented this particular part of this code here. I implemented it using a left shift x of n left shift so this is it here I took the x and the y I left shifted by the pi pi the pi pi d here represents n so the value of n any can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 depending on what iteration we are doing so this is where I did the shift here so this is where, where I divided x and y so you now get the x means after the division what you get the y means after the division what you get now and again the z of z of n is not here but it was shown let me go that one. it was clearly shown here so what this particular this particular one in this particular circuit does is it does one shifting so after doing that shifting, it compares 
the value with I already told you 1 over 2 raised to power 0, 1 over 2 raised to power 1, 1 over 2 raised to power 2 until it gets the actual theta that we have. So that is where the iteration comes in. Else, this is just a one time calculation. So that is why this comes into play, this particular place. So all these values here represents actan 1 over 2 raised to power n and n is already the pepper id so this is where the pepper id comes in and, and does the selection depending on what value of n or what number of iteration you are so it's now doing 1 over 2 raised to power 0 is this actan actan 1 over 2 raised to power 1 is this actan 1 over 2 raised to power 2 is this actan 1 over 2 raised to power 3 is this till wherever iteration is stopping so whenever it gets that output that is the actan here is going to use it into this equation of z here sorry this equation of z here so after it compare it, it only does the comparing if it compares it it checks it is not equal it asks or sub subtracts it check if it's higher or lower so remember when i was teaching the tutorial in my last session i was telling you about if assuming this is the angle then you are, you are starting from zero and try to get this angle but for this application we are starting from this angle and trying to get is uh, uh, zero so what we are doing instead of going back and forth until we get this particular angle what we did is to go from here back and forth until we get to zero until we get to zero so that's what what we are doing so how does he know if he's in zero or not he checks whether it's negative positive or negative so that is what the what the the code does when you go to the code you see it use sign bits one and whenever there is one at the beginning it means it's negative if it's zero it means it's positive go to the code you see where so see that part of the code Okay, I think let me explain more with the code rather than the logic same circuit. So let me let me show you. So this is the n. What n are you in? It checks the actan of that particular value. This is how it does it. Actan one over two is super zero. Actan one over two is super one. Actan two so and so on and so forth so this is how it does that then this is where it does the shifting when you go to the, this is the shifting part you see it's delta so this is a shift this, this is what actually does the shift n plus count count the, the it means the what id are we in now this add sub function is what chooses whether we are going up or we are going down depending on what y is it will tell us whether we are going to multiply add or subtract so please the codic equation is very easy is very very easy so this multiplexer it is in all of them you choose whether to subtract or multiply or add depending on the condition this is it on the code. I'll show you where it is on the code. This is it on the code here? These are the conditions for adding and subtraction. It compares with z is greater than zero, then it does this or it does this. But for the code, it just checks if y is negative. That is this is it here. Now uh, I'll do a little bit of correction here. Let's check if Z, the MSB of Z, that's what it checks. The MSB of the angle, it checks whether it's negative. If it's 1, it means negative. If it's plus, so it's more like a sine bit uh, calculation. So is that is what, and that is how it checks for this S, for this particular S here.
they check for s how they got x so it depends if it's plus it means it's going to subtract s of n minus this if it's minus and vice versa yes, that will be the end of this codec you can send me any further question if you have any issues from this codec i'll be doing the fft the codec is a block within the fft from fft we'll get the ofdm so thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel thank you